Aloha everybody, Aloha Kakaiyaka that is still here in Hawaii and uh, just kind of get on here, got a short little left of my drive to go and uh, just going to talk a little bit about vibrations because this has been a, you know, it's a, it's an important thing right now in this rising and the rising is important because humanity is rising, the one love is rising, the wahine are rising and that's a big part of the shift we're making you know people talk about the patriarchy they talk about the whatever but there's obviously been an imbalance in humanity with an overemphasis on the masculine war conquer all build all at whatever cost to mother nature all that stuff so i'm not going to get too much into all that but i just want to touch a little bit on vibration because vibe the vibes are big and let me just start by saying this that the most important vibe is my own vibration and my own vibration starts from my thoughts and you know those of you guys who know about law of attraction and all this stuff this is like absolutely true stuff and what I am thinking my life is a result of majority of the thoughts that are running through my head on a daily basis and the more we can get a hold of our thoughts the Bible says it like this it says take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ or what it's talking about really if I can put it in a simple term outside of you know it doesn't really matter where these these truths are coming from truth is truth but but when we take captive every thought and we make it and and we put it up against what's pono and what's righteous and more so what's true the more I'm able to think thoughts that are true the more I'm able to and not even true based on sometimes physical reality sometimes physical reality will contradict a greater truth like let's say I can let's say I want to lose weight and I know it's true that I can lose 20 pounds but if I keep looking at my physical body and go oh I didn't lose any weight or oh I only lost one pound or oh then all of a sudden I bring that vibration down and I'm not I'm not vibrating to the truth that hey it's no problem for me to lose 20 pounds people do it all the time millions of people all over the world take that with any other example you have in your life so this this personal vibration comes from our thoughts and what we what we choose powerfully to think about or the more we are unconscious in the things that are going through our head the less um, our vibrations are just gonna keep attracting whatever the thoughts are in our head so but what I wanted to get to a little bit more you know because I posted that little thing about let's raise the vibration the collective thing is rising and it is absolutely true but how that rises is you know for those of you guys who still struggle with these kind of things about vibes and all this spiritual stuff and whatever just think about when you walk into a room when people have been fighting maybe they maybe you didn't hear them fighting nothing but you get in there and you can feel the vibes it's like ooh, bad vibes in here or you talk to somebody who's super negative and maybe they had a really hard day or whatever so, so their vibration is 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 low and what happens when we're at lower vibrations lower vibrations just mean that the wavelength of the vibration is really big and imagine the plumb line of like awesomeness and let's say the plumb line in life that you want to be at is just this like inflow blessed freaking positive you know stoked vibration and, and and there's this plumb line and when the lower our vibrations are based on what thoughts we're allowing to go in our head or situations we're putting ourselves in you know life is life we're gonna come around bad vibes we're gonna come around bad vibes people we're gonna face hard things but then it's our choice then what are we gonna do with that am I gonna stay at that vibration am I gonna partner with that or am I gonna let my vibration rise back up to where it can and needs to be and so what happens when you're vibrating high it's not these long waves like fear for instance fear is a very big long wave and it only hits that plumb line that you want to be at of that flow state very little bit you know call it what you want flow state call it bliss I like calling it bliss because I just believe that life can be that awesome and the way we perceive life is, is how we experience it and whether it's hard stuff or good stuff my perception changes everything in my life so the higher I vibrate it's it's instead of doing these big long waves like love like love is this high vibration it's going and it's not going high up here and high down there it's going right along that plumb line of bliss and brilliance and all these other things so um, when we vibrate in love and honestly I'll just I'll just I'll just uh, whatever give you the punchline now of life in general the more we vibrate in a according to love through my choices through the things I think whatever that is that that causes me to, to lift my vibration to that vibration of love that is what's going to ascend humanity guys that is what if in my opinion you know maybe this is a little too far out for some of you guys but get ready because bruh I'm getting far out there and I've always been far out there and we're gonna talk about it so 
humanity is literally going to ascend, not into a different geographic place, not into heaven, because like the Bible says, guys, and many other, all the spiritual people tell us that heaven is here. Jesus said, repent, change your thinking, for heaven is not going to be a geographic location you will arrive at, and it's not a time distance away. Heaven is right here, right now, and he, and he actually said it's here, it's within us. We literally hold this, whatever we think is stored up in heaven or the afterlife or or uh, getting to some level of nirvana or whatever it is, it's like that's already here right now. The only thing that's ever gonna change is my vibration. And the higher I vibrate, the more I'm gonna be, it, begin to experience that reality of heaven on earth. So, um, raising the vibes. So my thoughts create my vibration raising. And just the way you walk into a room and you sense the vibrations, if it's good, if it's bad, you know, it's like, and some people are more sensitive than others, but we all can sense it. And a lot of our unsensitivity is because of the food we eat, because of the things we're thinking about, because of the entertainment, guys. Another massive thing about your own personal vibration is the eyes are the windows. What we see, what we, what I choose to look at, what I pay my attention to visually is what is coming into my mind. <clears throat> what I eat comes into my mouth. What I choose to make powerful choices of what I eat, that comes into my mouth and it changes my physical body. What I listen to, the sounds, the literal vibrations that come into my ears, that I make powerful choices of what vibrations and sounds are coming into my ears. Yes, we can't choose everything. We're not... Or the goal is not to be some monk up in some hill somewhere. Maybe some of us need to do that until we can get to a better place to start from. But all these things are windows into my holistic being through my eyes, through my ears, through my mouth. And these, what goes in comes out. That's the bottom line. What goes into my mouth comes out of my physical body. What comes into my eyes will, will be the things that are focusing in my mind. What goes into my ears are going to literally change, transform the makeup of my emotions in my day. That's why when you put on good, good uplifting music, you raise the vibration. When you li listen to like, you know, sad love songs and stuff, I'm, there's a time and place for all these things. But those sad love songs are going to bring us into that vibration. So again, we choose these things. You know, we're that we're curating our lives, literally curating our lives. So uh, the vibrations. This is how the world changes. Not by the bad people changing their bad ways, guys. It's by me raising my vibration because the collective, in the same way that you go to a party and if there's good vibes and there's a lot of people with good vibes, same thing when you go to a concert. I've seen it most powerfully at concerts and also big worship things in church circles and stuff in the past. But at concerts, you see, literally sometime, I've been to a concert one time, I think it was like 20,000 people in New Zealand and the vibes were so high and the energy that was in that place, it literally felt like we were gonna launch, like we were in a spaceship getting ready to launch as a collective. And guys, that is no different. This, this spa These stadiums where these concerts happen, that's a small group of humanity gathering, but we are all here gathered on earth and it's up to each one of us to raise our vibration and as we do, that collective vibration is going to shift on earth. The reason why the five media companies are constantly putting out fear and division, fear and division, fear and division is to lower the vibration, is to keep us asleep, to keep us dormant. So the more we partner with those lower vibrations, the more the whole collective humanity vibration drops. So again, I cannot, I, of course we have influence on people around us and maybe through social media, da, 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 but most importantly, what am I doing in my life? holistically, body, soul, spirit, to raise my vibration. Because my vibration is the only one I'm responsible for, and your vibration is the only one you're responsible for. But as we each take responsibility for the choices that we are making, good or bad, yes, we might be making better choices than 90% of the people that we know, but I can still make better ones. And it's not about this better, worse, like climbing some ladder. It's just resting in who we are, resting in, in, in the truth, Righteousness is just rightly aligning with what my spirit says. And when we are not walking in truth and spirit, in spirit and in truth, man, Jesus talked about so many awesome things, guys. But this thing of spirit and in truth is just really knowing who we are in spirit, even apart from Kavika, even apart from this life or who knows how many lives I live, this spirit of Kavika has been, or this spirit that is in me has been going on for a long time. And as I come back into alignment, when things are out of alignment, that's called unrighteous. It's not rightly aligned. So as I start rightly aligning things in my life, and this is happening to me, guys, these last few weeks, there's been shifts and the results are just blowing me away. And, um, 
So as I'm rightly aligning myself, it's the same with the chakras, it's the same with stretching, it's the same with all these things. It's like as we do these things, we open up the ability for energy to start flowing through our whole holistic being. And it's, a man, we can live lives that no matter what the circumstance, no matter what the situation that we're placed in, we can experience bliss, we can experience love, we can experience amazing stuff. Because guys, humanity, we are gonna be going through some nut stuff in this next season. You know, the cat, the butterfly is, is, is the new archetype for human humanity as a whole. But for us to shift in there, the caterpillar is dying. And I don't think it's dead yet. And But it's getting into this cocoon. And we need to realize what's happening on a bigger scale, on a longer time frame, so that we can hold our place. Hold our place and hold our vibration in love to keep going at that level. And um, that's basically it. So our individual rising of our vibration affects the collective vibration and guys just the same way that the law of attraction works for me in my own life I'm gonna pull over here because I'm here but brah the same way that law of attraction works for me in my life it works for humanity as a whole and humanity is attracting humanity is literally sending out vibes the collective we are one you know you guys have heard this we are one all these things that we are connected we are loved all these things man i say these things again and again because they are the absolute truth the truth is we are one way more than even the most woke person on earth can even understand now we are more connected than that we are more loved than that so this oneness this kind of even though we're different races different people different religions all the differences you guys that's the stuff that is what makes us beautiful if we all were walking around wearing all white it would not be very beautiful but because some people wear pink I love pink because some people wear blue and some people wear rainbow and all these different expressions we get variety and we get beauty and we get all these things and you know what all the differences that we have actually create beauty and yes some are more beneficial to the planet and loving people than others but you know what we're all moving forward and the more grace we have for others is the more grace that's going to come for ourselves so keep having grace on others who may not be at your level yet or whatever you think because you know what my level has been growing non-stop if i look back over the last 20 years every five years i'm like holy crud i'm kind of glad i didn't have kids yet because I would, I'm gonna raise them completely different from what I've just learned in the last five years, you know? And it's and these, these evolutions keep happening and these are personal evolutions in my life, but humanity as a whole has been constantly evolving. Not everything positive, but we can now see all the positive and the negative through the internet, through history, through a lot of things, even learning what is true history. Where's the spot today? I'm getting there, hopefully. I'm on uh, the old, um, you know, port lock zone, I'll just say that. So. But I don't know if that's a spot. It's just where I'm going because of some stuff. But, sorry. Love you, Sash. Uh, not seeing the comments. But, bro, what was I saying? Collective humanity. So, we are putting out as a human consciousness this vibration. And this vibration is attracting things to the earth as a whole. There are things out in the cosmos. Whether you want to call them aliens, other beings, life forms, other planetary things. They are also transmitting things. And all this stuff is coming into the cosmos. But what's so powerful about humanity, and I'm not sure if, if this is unique to, to the earth, but the humans are the light rods. We are the energy conductors. We are the, we are the gatekeepers. In the same way I'm the gatekeeper for my own life, through, uh, through what I watch, through what I listen to, and through what I eat, that is the makeup. That is my holistic, that is my current holistic health is based on the things that I have watched my whole life, the things that have come into my ears, and the food that I have eaten. That is the quality of my holistic health. So as a collective, now let's think of this big picture, as a collective we are putting out this vibration and we are attracting things to humanity. And guys, there are things that we cannot yet fathom that are out there in the cosmos and they are wanting to come to earth. They're wanting to help us. They're wanting to help us elevate and evolve. You guys know that we only use 10% of our brain and that's a big indicator to how much further we have to go just even in our in our in our humanity. So um but as we start putting out these different vibrations, as, as humanity starts coming into that higher vibration of love, instead of these long, low vibrations of fear that barely are ever gonna hit that flow state that you want in your life, but when you vibrate at love, it's hitting it constantly. It's like, bah, 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 bah. 
and all of a sudden you get synchronicities and you feel like you're in flow state and all of a sudden you got joy coming from the inside and you're not having to take as many stimulants from the outside to survive with your caffeine and alcohol and weed and drugs and and sex and whatever it is not saying that all that stuff is bad everything has its time and place but yes i know i'm gonna come see you today phil which is funny um and Alien is funny that you say that too, because I'm starting to believe more and more in aliens, but you know, they're not just not as weird as we thought, but there's probably good ones and bad ones out there. And each one wants to affect humanity. But again, we are the gatekeepers. So we are the ones that allow things on earth. This is also a biblical principle. And I talk about the Bible a lot, guys, not because, you know, I'm in that same type of Christianity I was before, but because the Bible has so much beautiful truth and it is one of the most valuable books we have on earth. And one of these truths is that is law of attraction is all these things that are now becoming woke culture. You know, these principles have all been what, you know, honestly I grew up with. Um, so gatekeepers, we are the gatekeepers for ourselves or the gatekeepers for earth. As we vibrate, guys, we are going to begin to draw things that are going to transform this earth in ways, in quantum leaps. Just the same way things are getting crazier and crazier at like pretty drastic, let's just say the last five years, things have gotten pretty wild here on earth. At the same time, we're going to, we're going to have positive quantum leaps and we're going to have help from spirit. We're getting help. We're learning how the plants have been given to us. There's, you know, whether it's ayahuasca, whether it's all these different things, so many different ways people are getting healing because guys, we are the generation that is going to, that is starting to pay the price to get our own personal holistic health. And as we get personal holistic health, our children are going to come up into such a different environment where, where they are going to be able to be, to be themselves. That is my heart. And I'm going to be sharing more as I start releasing some things with children of the free world. But that is my heart for the children of the free world. I am a child of the free world. You are the child of the free world. And the truth, no matter how you want to, whatever perspective you want to look at it, the greater truth is that we are free in this world. I am free to choose what I look at, what comes into my ears and in my mouth majority of the time in most countries. But the children, guys, they already have the info. They have the codes. When a child comes out, this child sees another human as a friend. They see another child as a friend. Until we, as the big people, the grown-ups tell them to, to don't befriend everybody, every child's a friend. They know who they are. They know what to do. Yes, we have, might have to help them learn how to walk and all these other things, but guys, the children are coming to teach us. They are coming fresh. They are coming with the, with the great, right before they came in the cosmic birth canal, which is the most beautiful thing and the thing that I am so passionate about protecting in this day and age. And also exposing the fear that is linked to this birth canal because there's going to be children coming who are on levels and they already are here and they are some of you and me already and these children are coming and they have the answers to the problems that are facing humanity and as we as we as we learn to de to program them less and allow them to teach us we are going to evolve in quantum leaps and this is my heart. This is this is the children of the free world are, are these forerunners, these, these children who have been given to teach us. And as the adults realize that we have more to learn from them than they actually have to learn from us. And the more we allow them these free spaces to, to just be who they are without putting all our crap on them, guys, they will show us the way because I have been looking for the way for a long time. And it's part of my Polynesian roots as a wayfinder. The Polynesians found the way to Hawaii. They literally pulled these islands out of the Pacific Ocean. Not literally, but it was part of was their journey. And we are continually finding the way, but it's the children who are gonna show us the way because they are untainted. They don't have all the stuff that we have been given. And certain ones, these children don't even have past lifetimes to deal with going to be talking more about that. Don't want to get too weird for you guys all, but I do want to vibrate higher. And I do know that this thing of vibration, law of attraction, all this stuff works individually and it works collectively. So let's come together. Let's raise the vibration of earth so that we begin to pull in the help that we need to go in quantum leaps to see this thing shift. You guys, this is the greatest time to ever be alive. Our children who are being born in this time actually have the most 
powerful job to do on earth. And you know what? They're going to be fucking warriors. And I hope they're born warriors because there is a battle going on. And it's not the battle that we think. And it's not fought with weapons. But it is waged in our thoughts. And it is waged in our ability to vibrate with love. So let's raise it up. Aloha Nui.